Hi, I'm Randy Hollenbeck, and this is the Music Roundtable. Today on the show, we're featuring bands that are playing at the Deutschtown Music Festival in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on July 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Guys, can you introduce yourself, what instrument you play, and the name of your band? Hey, my name is Mike, and I play drums, and uh, we're Blackridge. Hey, my name is Joe. I play guitar, and we're Blackridge. Cody, I play bass. Here's Tony. I'm the back player. I'm Paul. I'm the front man. I'm Corey. I play keyboards. I'm Paul. I play guitar. We're quite the ensemble. A lot of people here. How would you describe your band's sound? This is going to sound very arrogant, but I always tell people that we play good music. We do a mixture of funk, soul, blues. We do a lot of original stuff. We play a lot of Led Zeppelin covers. We do a lot of Sly and the Family Stone. We do Temptations. We play everything. You know? our, our, our style can't be put into one genre. We pop genres. We have like funk songs. We have straight up blues tunes. We have like party songs. We have uh, epic opuses. Uh, like we're, we're all over the place. We're not in any one box. How did you come up with the band name? That's a question for Paul. He actually started the band. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've always like admired bands like Pink Floyd and Black Sabbath and like bands with colors in their names. So I, I took that and um, we live kind of on a mountain. We practice on a mountain up here. That's where I used to live. And um, they call it the Ridge. So I kind of just melded the most badass color, black, and then Ridge. And it just seemed to work out. Before that, the first name, I don't know if I've ever said this on an interview before, but uh, this might be an exclusive. The, the original name was Pet Fly. And I'm glad we didn't stick with that. So that's how we got Blacker. So. I've never heard that before, but I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> how long has your band been together? Believe it or not, about 10 years. But this inclination. This whole, we, we've gone through a lot of iterations, but but we together, are, uh, the playing musicians in the band currently have been together about five years. Well, other than our new guitarist. You're right. We actually just got a new lead guitarist. That's Joey. He's been in the band for maybe about two or three months now, but he's a great addition. And we're, we're really starting to get back to the really tight sound that everybody knows as Blackridge. So... We're really excited to play at Deutschtown, man. It's going to be a really, really awesome time. How many times has your band played at Deutschtown? Oh, geez. Will this, will this be three? Yeah. This will be the third time, yes. And uh, we've had great success with it, man. The first time we ever played there, we played at the uh, Young Men's Republicans Club. And it's a funny story because we actually had a gig in uh, Johnstown that day. And we had to come all the way down there from playing at Johnstown at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon to an 8 o'clock gig at the Young Men's Republicans Club. Now, there was nobody at this at this uh, uh, Johnstown gig, right? We played in this big pavilion to maybe about 20 people. But I'll tell you what, you could have packed the amount of people in that club that night, in that, that cool. pavilion, and it would still have overflow. The there were so many people in that club, Randy, the, the floor yeah. was starting to buckle. It was absolutely tremendous. And then the second time we played there, we actually played in the parking lot in the blazing hot sun. But it was still an amazing time. We had we had an awesome crowd. Uh, Repo Man played right before us, a drummer named uh, Pat Norman Nightingale. or Nightingale. I'm sorry, Pat Nightingale. I'm horrendous with names. Uh, he played with us, and uh, I got to play his drum set, and it was an incredible time. This Friday we're playing at the uh, Comfort Inn stage. Job 150th anniversary. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Straub 150th anniversary stage at the Comfort Inn in Deutschtown. And we play at 8 o'clock, right? Yeah. 8 o'clock. So we're really, really looking forward to it, man. Is there any other bands that you're looking forward to checking out at the festival? 
Yeah, for sure. I'm really, really excited to see Chip and the Charge Ups. They're a great local band, and uh, we're actually playing with them on August 4th, right? Six, six. August 6th. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm horrendous with $10. dates. You can buy tickets to that. They're ten dollars a piece. Small. That's going to be at Mr. Small's. It's going to be an awesome time. But uh, I'm excited to see all kinds of bands, man. There's there's a band that's uh, it's called Fuck Yeah Dinosaurs, and they played with us the last time we played down at Deutschtown, and they were incredible. So I'm really excited to see them. I know for a fact they're playing. Um, there's another local band that's playing, but uh, their name escapes me. But my friend Brandon is playing guitar with them, and I'm also excited to see them as well. They're a local startup band, so it's going to be a great time. Do you guys have anything special in your set list that you're going to play? Maybe. Uh, originals off of our upcoming album. Yeah. We have an album that is uh, currently in studio and being mixed and mastered. So we'll be playing some unreleased tunes from that. Uh, the covers that we'll be playing, I'm not going to say what they are. You're going to have to come and see us. But we do some really good really good choices on the covers that we do. Probably right. And uh <clears throat> A lot of the stuff that we do is you're not going to see other bands doing. Like, there are songs that not a lot of other bands touch and everything. So, if you don't believe me, come and see us. If you believe me, come and see us. And if you uh, if you aren't playing Deutschtown that day, we have, like, opportunities for a lot of crowd interaction. So, we have, like, a plethora of, like, hand percussion, tambourine. So, if you're not playing that day and you want to feel included, come out and play with Blackridge for a couple songs. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll make our band. Our band's normally a seven-piece, but, like, we can get it up to, like, a 20-some-odd piece if there's a responsive enough crowd. So, we're pretty fun times. And the band might get mad at me for saying this, but depending on how practice goes, we might be bringing back an awesome original tune. But I'll leave that to uh, if you come and see us or not. So, we'll see. How can we get in contact with your band? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? www.blackridgeofficial.com is the easiest way because it has links to all of our social media. We are everywhere. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on Bookface. We're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. We're on YouTube. We're on Apple Music. We're all over the place, man. Take a look. you find us. Very easy. It's the best way to get it. That's from the front man himself. So. Do work. And the band name is Two Words. Yeah, the band name is Two Words. Two Words. Yeah. Capital B, capital R. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show today. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, other than saying about our Chip and a Charge Up show, um, Quiet Riot. September 18th, we're opening for Quiet Riot. So you can come down to Journals, come check us out for that. It'll be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we're also, uh, if anybody is free watching, it's uh, July 27th through the 31st. Blackridge is headed to Nashville. We have like five shows booked down in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, no, so if you got some vacation time, you want to come party and come someplace out of state, man, come on out and be with Blackridge down in Nashville, Tennessee. 